So you came back. You want to know what comes out this week? We'll be happy to tell you. Because I'm Matt, and this is Brian, and we are from The Secret Life of Comic Books. Here on the first week of March, March 5th? It's March 5th. March. No, well, today's March, March 5th. Sorry. Comes, tomorrow, comic book day is March 6th. Technically March 6th, <laughs> uh, 2013. With, um, I don't know, uh, it's, it's your average week of comic books. It's uh, some interesting stuff, some big stuff comes out. Um, and some repercussions of the comic books that have came out last week, uh, most notably Batman Incorporated, number eight, which, if you haven't already read our, the review on our site, click the link that is down here. <laughs> I hope I can put links down right. here. Or this is going to be really embarrassing. Are we going to assume that we don't need to, that number eight's been spoiled when you talk about it? Yeah, yeah, well, I think we, we talked about it last time. On we? The, yeah, uh, we, we were like, yeah, Damien dies. <laughs> Damien <laughs> dies, yeah. Yes, Damien, Damien died. <laughs> Damien is dead. Uh, and DC has changed a few of the covers to some of their Bat books to kind of reflect that. So if you looked at the solicitations and saw some pretty generic pictures of Batman on Detective Comics or Power Girl or No Huntress on World's Finest, well, those covers are changed now, and we'll show you what they look like uh, in, the, in the page or in the flesh. The right. flip one. Yeah. Uh, so we'll start with DC. We'll go with DC later. We'll start with... Uh, Let's start with our with the smaller guys uh, first. First and foremost, let's start with uh, Dark Horse, and we have issue four of Hellboy in Hell. Um, is this limited? Or, uh, uh, I think it's limited, but I you know I don't know how long it's going to be. Yeah. It, it just says number four at the top, so who knows? This is four or five, four or six, or just oh, yeah, I would assume five or six. Yeah. But I don't know. And who knows how long they're going to go with it. Uh, over at Image, we have uh, Mara by Brian Wood. Another Brian Wood. Seems like every week we talk about this guy. He's got a lot coming out, right? He's pretty big. Yep. And uh, all pretty solid stuff. And this is issue three. Uh, this is not limited. This is... I think it is theoretically ongoing. Okay. So, I think it's doing well enough that it'll be ongoing. Yep. So, uh, hopefully you are checking this out. You're not just, you know, gorging mm -hmm. yourself on superheroes. You um, read some volleyball comics. Come exactly on. right. <laughs> They're really well written. Um... Well, let's go uh, into... That's it from the uh, small guys. Right. That's why they're small. Yeah. Um, there's some stuff out from Valiant. But once again, we don't know if we should talk about it unless you tell us to talk about it. So There you go. Yeah, if you're like, dude, you didn't talk about Shadow Man? What's yeah, wrong with you? Exactly. Tell us, and maybe we'll talk about it next we time. I'm hear, reading it. I'm enjoying it. But... We want to hear about Bedlam. Well, yeah. you know what? We, have, we can't talk <laughs> about it unless you want to talk about it. I know it sounds like, you know, we, we don't care how long these videos are, but we do. We don't want to talk about everything. Yeah. Yeah. They take forever to upload. Exactly right. <laughs> it, it really does. <laughs> and you can't do anything on your iPad while it's uploading. Because you might can, but I don't want to press the button and, right. and find out that 30 minutes has been wasted. Um, but let's, uh, you know, you can tell a comic is good by the paper quality of its cover. <laughs> And there <laughs> was a gimmick in the 90s that every once in a while will still pop up. I mean, Walking Dead did it for issue 100, and now Age of Ultron. The chromium cover. Yep. Ultron on the front. You got a little Moon Knight and Black Widow on the back. Yeah. I don't know if you can even see that. Yeah, well. if you can't see this on the video, well, <laughs> it's thanks, shiny. You can see that it's shiny, yeah. though. And they're not jacking up the price. Uh, no, nope. it's, it's $3.99. It's $3.99. With the free code. Yep. And this Honestly, is this is the this is a free code, not a bonus. That is true. It's still yeah. free. This we'll one's talk free. about bonus in a minute. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, obviously this is the next big Avenger story. Although I guess Ben just is saying it's everybody. Yeah, this is the Marvel universe in general. So this so, is uh, this is I guess 2013's big event. Is it? I I think they're Marvel? talking. There's going to be some kind of cosmic stuff once okay. Guardians of the Galaxy starts up. So the summer will probably kick into something else. But yeah, this is the the crossover of the moment. Yeah. And this is what, 10 good. issues? Yeah. Yeah. 10 or, tw I think it's 12 actually. Okay. So. But it's bi bi-weekly, so in two weeks another number two will be out. Too. It'll last you through the summer. Sure. Yeah. So, and then from, again, from our friend Bendis, we got all new X-Men. Yep. Excellent comic book. And this is A, or X meets A. Um, yeah. We got some Avengers action. Captain America might be interested in what Beast is doing. Time yep. traveling and stuff. Uh, new issue of Avengers. Yeah. The wide event is coming. Dustin Weaver's on art right now for the storyline, so it should be pretty awesome. 
I'm, I'm, I'm actually excited about this one. It's nice to have to be excited about Avengers again. Yeah, uh, this, we're getting back into an back. actual story now instead of the one-shot character right. studies. Which, you know, ha they have picked up. But yeah. like, like we said, these come with bonus oh, digital right. copies. Right, so. <laughs> yeah. Bonus digital edition. Um, which, I don't know if that's Marvel trying to wean us off. I really hope it's not. Because having... <laughs> Ha reading your paper comic and then being able to go back at any time on your iPad or your phone, it's really nice. But it's a nice bonus. I, I, I hope it lasts, but who knows. Alright, Cable and X-Force. Hope is not happy with Cable, it looks like. Yep. Yeah. Got some... Uh, Her dad. Yeah. yeah. Some more Daredevil End of Days in a cool book. Which is six of eight. Yep. Uh, Iron Man number seven. Tony's in space jail. Space jail? Is he... <laughs> <laughs> well, is this is is this is Guardians of the Galaxy? Yeah, last issue uniform? they they uh, introduced the new one. Okay. Well, I think actually last page number five, but number six was the first time he actually used it. Okay. He's in space right now. Uh, some more of your Doc Ock Spider Man. Yeah. Pretty. Uh, it's one of those covers that's like ooh yeah. ooh Superman's gun Superman gun. with a gun. Uh, sp uh, sorry, Spider superhero with a gun. <laughs> right. That's it. Uh, they didn't that crap with Batman. The famous the, what's the one where he has the holster and he's yeah. like got the gun. Year two. Yeah, year two. All right. uh, that's it from your friends at Marvel. Yep. Um, well, over at DC, and actually, you're not going to believe this, guys, both of our picks of the week, DC. So, so heads up, Marvel. <laughs> uh, like I said, new cover, uh, Huntress and Power Girl in World's Finest. Uh, unfortunately, boys and girls, unless this happens at the very end, we are not into Power Girl's new costume yet. Or her new old costume. Yeah, I don't think it'll be another, like, two issues. I don't think it'll be two or what number is that? Ten? So Ten. probably twelve, I think. Well. It's, it's not a new costume. It's the old costume. Yeah, too. but it's the best costume. I don't like this one. That's your worst. But obviously we have Huntress kneeling down at her half other universe <laughs> parallel sort of brother. brother. Whatever. <laughs> whatever Damien is. He's a clone, so that, that goes into the, the pile of <laughs> prefixes. But, uh... You know. Well, he's not a clone. Like no, right, right, right. Sorry, just sorry. Just a different dimension. Right. This, yeah. <laughs> Come on. It's, yeah, get it right, Matt. Um, this is, uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is uh, repercussions after uh, Damien's uh, slaughter, for lack of a better <laughs> word, uh, last last week. Uh, not the not the last one to come out this week, but, uh, as you'll see. Uh, then we got the second issue, uh, number 18. The second issue, which is number 18 <laughs> of Green Arrow from Jeff Lemire. Um, Jeff Lemire pretty much killed off every character you come to know <laughs> in the last issue of Green Arrow. Uh, Include Slate, sl sl man. So it, this, it, you should basically call this issue two of Green Arrow. Sure. Um, we'll get to this one in a minute. Uh, we got uh, the last issue of Before Watchmen Rorschach. Uh, it's hard to believe it's only been a year of a thousand before Watchmen comic books, but mm -hmm. it is starting to dwindle down, and this is the last issue of Rorschach. How many... Is this the last issue before Watchmen? It might be. I, don't, I was trying to remember. I don't know if Ozymandias is over yet. Yeah, so it's it's coming to an end. It's, yeah, this month they'll be over for sure. Yeah, and they got those nice uh, omnibus trade... Yeah, the, the, new, hard, the hard covers are in, yeah. the, in the new previews. And uh, here's a hint, guys. The Darwin Cook stuff... It's all in one volume, so that's really all you have to buy. What? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> but uh, moving <coughs> into uh, Rot World, uh, Rot World is over, but there are some repercussions if you read Rot World. Uh, we have this pretty, is that Jay Lee? Yeah, it's Jay Lee. Um, pretty sweet uh, Animal Man cover with these big letters. This is the most tragic day in the life of Buddy Baker, exclamation <laughs> mark. Um, so, it could be good stuff. Hopefully we get back to some more tragic Animal Man. Guy can't catch a break. Mm -hmm. uh, and like I said, another repercussion issue. Detective Comics. We got uh, Batman holding uh, Robin's cape. I don't know how much of the story is going to be focused on that. Um, hopefully not too much. You like to have your balance. You don't want to see a comic book writer just 100% piggyback off a big event. But you do also want to make sure that this really does affect the character. So, who knows? We haven't read it yet, uh, but I'm sure it's going to be pretty good. So, there is that. Uh, there's still some, he's still tangling up with Penguin and the Emperor mm -hmm. Penguin in this in this comic, so. Nice. Who knows, who knows. Mm -hmm. But let's get into our picks of the week. 
Let's go with you. All first. right. Uh, my pick is Earth 2, number 10. Uh, when they started the New 52, they, you know, obviously J JSA is not in the New 52, so they're doing them on Earth 2. It's a cold start with number 1. So it's all the all the JSA characters are starting to pop back up. And uh, this issue, I think Dr. Fate showed up at the end of the last issue, so I think we're doing Dr. Fate for this storyline. I love James Robinson's writing since Starman, even before that, and Nicola Scott is one of my favorite artists, so I'm expecting yeah. this to be good. It, it, he's hyped it up for me now. <laughs> <laughs> Not my pick of the week. My pick of the week is, well, it is the end of Scott Snyder's uh, run on Swamp Thing. And let me tell you why this is a sad thing and a good thing. It's sad because Scott Snyder is a solid writer, and this is the last issue of Swamp Thing. And Swamp Thing, as comic book fans know, Swamp Thing is a very important character in the DC Universe. And so when a solid writer leaves his book, it always makes you kind of nervous for the next guy. And him, Scott Snyder leaving Swamp Thing, who knows? But the good thing is Scott Snyder is leaving Swamp Thing. So therefore, he is not spreading himself too thin, Jeff Lemire. Um... He is, basically that means he, he thinks this book is going to be good enough, or it deserves his full attention. If he can't give it that, he walks away from it. And I, I like that in a writer. Um, it, it, it means his new stuff, his Superman stuff, his, uh, what's the name of the comic that he's writing for Vertigo? I want to say it's Superman Unchained, is that it? That's the, that's yes. the, uh, that's the uh, yeah, Superman book. Superman, it is Superman Unchained. <laughs> Um, when I was thinking about it, I was like, no, it's not Jane going chain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's because of that Superman yeah. cover where he's busting the kryptonite chains. I'm right. Sure. <laughs> and it, it, that's what we get. But what's the Vertigo thing he's writing? Oh. Um, yeah, crap, I can't think of it. Can't, it's it's Trillium like is, the, is Jeff Lemire. Is, is it something that starts up? Yeah, it's on yeah. previews. Okay, um, look it up right but while he's looking that up. Um, there you go. The Wake. The Wake. <laughs> so we have uh, Snyder... Limiting himself, which is which is good. You want sure. that because you don't want the quality in a writer to diminish. And once again, it's bittersweet. It should be good. Uh, Snyder, he knows how to leave a book. Um, so hopefully that that's that's got positive connotations now. Hopefully it doesn't become a negative. I guess we'll find out when I read this. Um, but also, if you if you scroll down on the past reviews, you'll find out. Uh, Swamp Thing was one of the first things I reviewed for the website. So, yeah, all the way back at like issue 10 or something. But that's so beautiful. I know. So, that's coming to an end. It's good stuff. And two ninety nine, Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Well, once again, you know, if you're watching this, it means you've been coming to the site. Keep it up. Tell your friends. We're going to be posting a lot more stuff in the future. We've got some really big plans for the website. Uh, we're excited. We hope that you're excited. And we hope that... Uh, I hope that you are coming to us first for your comic book news. Because we, you know what's different about us and those other guys? Not to crap on the other guys. We're not going to crap on the other guys. <laughs> but we actually have physical copies of the comics in our hands. We'll show you. You want to see what Swamp Thing looks like? Dude, don't do it. Yeah, it's that's true. what Swamp Thing looks like. They can't <laughs> do that on other websites. Here's a PDF for you. Look at this picture. <laughs> Look at the previews that DC showed us. And we'll have, that, we'll have to take the captions out of it because, mm, you know what? No. That's what you get from us. That's why we're different. So you should come back to us every week to find out what's coming out and what you should be excited about. And if you're excited about something and we're not talking about it, let us know. That's commitment. You think IGN is going to do that? No. <laughs> think CBR is going to do that? No. Do you think Bleeding Cool is going to do that? Maybe. But we will. And if you want us to spoil stuff in the future, we can do that too. I mean, yeah. I could show you the last page of Swamp Thing yeah. if you want it. Right now. <laughs> right now. Ultron kills people. Probably so. <laughs> Ultron. We got rid of TJ. We knew y'all didn't like him. Yeah. All, so many comments about how TJ was horrible. So. Secret Life of Comic Books. <laughs> we'll do it for you. That's not a tagline. It's a uh, look beyond the panels. But second tagline, we'll do it for you. <laughs> All right, from the secret life. Oh, once again, tell them more. Tell them, tell the people where we're All at. Right. We are at Conway Comics, uh, inside Textbook Brokers, two fifty five Ferris Road. Yep. Uh, new comics will be out tomorrow morning. That's right, and 
the, these guys are awesome. You've got a book that you want, they'll order it for you. They will take care of you. They will not, they won't, they won't jerk you around and say, Oh, we got to buy a few books for you. We can, like, have you on a pool list or you have to pay to be on a pool list. There are stores that charge you to be on a pool list. You don't want that. No way. They don't do that. They're good guys. We're good guys. And we're going to end it at that. I'm Matt Wood. I'm Brian Keown. And thank you from The Secret Life of Comic Books.